Hi guys, welcome back to VFix Technology. And here I brought an, another video for phone pay payment gateway integration along with Laravel. In any of your Laravel application, doesn't matter it's 10, 11, 12 or upcoming versions, it should work fine. And I will try to keep this video short and informative. I'm gonna get you the source code so you can take the reference and learn. And I'll show you the demonstration, how it works in this video. Matter of fact, I have written a complete blog with all the steps in the code on my website. I'm gonna share the link on this video. Let's first check how it works. So I have created the local environment. Let's check it out. First of all, we, we should have a payment form, right? See that along with the validation, if I click on it, it has the validation accordingly. Let me use a fake filler. I'm gonna put a name, email, phone number, and the amount 43 for time being. I'm going to click on proceed to pay and it's going to hit to the endpoint of APIs and the magic happens. We do have a QR code from phone pay. We can use card, net banking and whatever. All the options are here. Let me put the dummy details. And now let's go to the success page. So it's gonna go ahead and map the transaction and it should save the data to the database as well. You see that? We have a success message along with the transaction ID, order ID and the amount which has been paid. At the same time, if I refresh the page, uh, Fritz Hoffman, that's what we have made. It has the transaction amount and the status paid, order ID and the entire JSON request which we have got as a success response. So let me explain you how I made it. Uh, let's go ahead first. Let's follow the blog. First of all, you're supposed to install Laravel. That's that's the basic requirement. I mean, uh, if you're using 10, 11, 12, it should work fine. Since we are not using any specific package, I made a curl request. So any version of Laravel should work fine along with this. Along with the Laravel, we're gonna need the APIs. So you should have an account with phone pay and you should have a test environment credentials in order to test it locally, right? And the basic knowledge of Laravel, which is obvious, should have. Step one, install the Laravel, right? Go to the directory. Step two, get the keys from the phone pay dashboard and put into the ENV file, right? Step three, create a migration. And we're gonna create a table named payment and payment, nothing special, just the name, email, phone number, amount, payment ID, order ID, status, and other. Pretty much it. Now we're going to migrate that and create a payment model. Inside the payment model, we are just going to pass two different uh, things here. First, protected fillables. You can use, mention all the rows so it can take the mass assignment. And one row, one key is other, which we're going to make array. Doing this could make the uh, it make it more easy, and Laravel will automatically encode and decode the data while making the transaction. If you know what I mean. Then we're gonna create a controller, and in the controller, just three methods: first, show the form; second, payment, process the payment; and third, success. Right? Let me explain in the code. If you see that, that's the form, just a get request. Here's the post request. First, we're gonna validate the data and put all these variables into, uh, in, into the variables, then get the keys detail from ENV and process into the phone pay infrastructure. Choose the uh, link accordingly if production, different link, if uh, sandbox, different link, then make a curl request, right? And whatever we get back, we save the data and then wait for the transaction. As soon the user creates the transaction, it hits the U success method, which I have already mentioned on the blog, right? In success method, what will happen if you see here, you're gonna match that what we got, the transaction ID and recheck the data through checksum and hash and make the response accordingly and save the data. Finally, everything is good. If everything is good, if there's an error, it's gonna shoot an error. If everything is good, it's gonna update the payment status one, which you see in my uh, database, the payment status 
default zero and default there is no uh, payment ID. We get it after creating the payment, right? Now that's that is all and it shows the thanks message. That's pretty much it. Let's guys, let's do it one more time. I'm gonna make one more transaction and I'm gonna explain along with it. Let me put my name, Aaron. I'm gonna put my email ID. My phone number could be any number amount. Let's take anything, 51. As soon I'm gonna click on pay now, it process the data and saves into the database. Let me show you what I meant. Refresh, you see that? As of now, it does not have the payment ID because we're gonna get once the transaction get it done and the status is zero because it's not paid so far. Now, let me go ahead and make this transaction. Go ahead and use the dummy card numbers. Success. And should be done. It'll take a few seconds and it saves the data and pass the thanks message. Did you see that, guys? It's pretty simple and I made it very easy for you. The source code is available in the description and let's check the update the um, method here, uh, my bad, the database, and let's see what payment ID we get. You see that payment ID got and status is one. So guys, if I am giving you any value, please consider subscribing and allow notification. It takes a whole lot of time other than doing my job. I'm gonna have to spare some time and create these videos. So I want you to join our family. And if you want me to create some videos, comment, I would try to get some time and make it happen. Thanks, guys. Cheers. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.